let's let's just start here. I made forty thousand dollars off of Snapchat within a few months. Snapchat was lit. I've always liked Snapchat. Like I gotta go back in the day again. Back in the day when Snapchat started, <laughs> I had like twenty, thirty thousand people on my Snapchat. And boy, we used to have so much fun on Snapchat. And that is actually when I feel like I got real close to my fan base. Because on um, Instagram, on Instagram, it was really like pretty photos, really done up, maybe some behind the scene type stuff. But it wasn't really personable. You know what I'm saying? I really, I would joke around on there and stuff like that, but we, like that, but we wouldn't talk. On Snapchat, we talked a lot. We talked so much about so many different things. That's when um, Motivation Monday was born. I so thoroughly enjoyed those Snapchat days. Um, and there really wasn't any spicy stuff on there. Maybe like some behind the scenes scenes from some shoots and stuff. And I used to do some really spicy shoots. So I guess there was some spicy content on there. But um, this time around, I was doing it specifically for the Spicy Hustle, right? So it was like a beta testing, if you will. And it was going to be a private Snapchat. And at first, I was like, I only want like 100 guys in there to see what's what, right? Because my last Snapchat that had like 20, 30,000 people on it got deleted uh, for posting a link and funny enough it was a link to my daughter's lip gloss line at the time nothing nothing crazy on my story at all that was the last thing I posted and they deleted me and they completely locked me out there was no getting my account back and after that I was like yeah I'm good I'm good off of it. I'm good and I didn't come back till years later and this is where this comes in I've always liked Snapchat. Um, it's just really like easy on the go type stuff. Like it ain't nothing for me to just pull my camera out, blah, 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 send it, send it, send it. You know, there's not much thought into Snapchat, which is, is good. It's good. It gets a lot more raw moments and I just, I like it. And I like the disappearing feature because it's like, it gives your people, it makes your people like, I got to check in with her every day to see what's going on, right? So, and for the spicy hustle for the spicy side it's good because once it's deleted it's gone right so it gives you that kind of layer of um protection kind of and then also exclusivity right um and aside from that it tells you someone screenshot screenshot screen records super easy to find it out love that all for like everything that i was trying to do love that so um, I did something on my backup page, my uh, That's Wild B page, and I started a draft, a private Snapchat draft. Um, and I like to do these type of things. I've done it similar, bef like similar to this before, because it um, it makes it look more, way more exclusive. It drives, it's, it gives you a sense of urgency, um, and yeah and I usually can charge more when I do it like this too so what I did is I said okay I'm only letting 10 people in each week on this day um, at this time and you have to message me um, this word it was the word draft to get in so I I started that and I was doing a one-time fee $50 lifetime fee for them to get into my private snapchat um, once I got them in there I was first I was like doing customs and stuff and I was getting so worn out like people wanting them at different times different things and I was like I can't sustain this especially like if I'm trying to do a uh, real estate and then run my other two businesses I, I can't do that it's, it's exhausting right so what I ended up doing is uh, batch recording some stuff um, and I love I'm a batch recording type of girl like when it comes to content galore like I just that's just my vibe um, so I started doing batch recordings of pre-made videos, right? So when I did this, um, I was selling all, it, the content was already done, right? So I would, I'll post my daily cute stuff, blah, 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 blah and then I would do like some promo for like my pre-mades and I would get a bunch of orders and I could just send them out, send them out, send them out. So it had gotten to a point like where I had like a eight or $10,000 a month something like that 
off of Snapchat. And I, at that time, I think I only had like a little bit over 100 people. I ended up maxing out, I want to say at like 150 people. And I was like, okay, I'm shutting it down for right now. I just want to rock out with them and test some stuff with them. And we had a time, okay? Like if anybody, like we had, we had a time. We had our own, <laughs> we had our own little way of doing things. And I loved it. I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. I call those my OG snap people why OG snappers so it came time for me to go ahead and open it to the public because I was making some decent money um, anywhere from five to eight thousand a month um, but it, you know for this to grow for me to really start breaking some numbers I was gonna have to open it up to more than 150 people um, so so I did a launch right um me and lucky's room he's my one of my shooters that i've been friends with for forever had him come out we were gonna do a or we did do a music video for an unreleased song that i had um so that i could get some of my musical people over onto snapchat and then also have some pre-mades ready so what the idea was is we're gonna shoot a video with various different scenes and then each of those scenes is really going to be just a commercial for an extended version or the pre-mades that I was making for them to purchase. Because have you ever seen like a really hot music video and you're like, damn, like I wish I saw her in more of that outfit or I would, you know, whatever. So that's what we, we created. So I, I launched the, um, I launched the public side, right? And immediately, um got a good amount of people in um i think we we got like 600 people like on sign up like when we opened it up which is pretty dope um and we got people in there um we got some subscribers in there too because the new people were coming in and they were going to pay a monthly fee kept it really reasonable at seven dollars and fifty cents a month which was really dope i ran it through square um and it was set up really nice. They had like a welcome video, like all the instructions. Like I had a, I had a cool little flow going. I had a great flow. And, you know, I had, I'd made some decent sign up money. I think it was like up to seven fifty dollars with, with like the first like drop, which was cool. It was cool. Something to build off of. Um, when I opened it up to the public people, it's a learning curve for them, right? They don't know that they're not supposed to screenshot or else they'll get a fine of $200. Um, they, they don't know. They, don't, they just don't know, right? They're asking me a lot of questions, whatever. But when I opened it up to, and, and I'm okay with that. I'm cool with that. You learning. I, I knew there was going to be a curve, so, you know, I had planned for that. What I didn't plan for is as soon as I opened up my public Snapchat, I um, started getting reported i started getting violations and um it would really only be when i would post something a little risque on the public side because i would have a public snapchat and a private snapchat same thing as people with of a free of and then like a paid of and they just cycle the people who are in the free to the paid with like teasers and stuff so i got my first violation i was like hmm this is interesting so I was like, okay. And that, that was like when I first, like, it first planted a seed. And I was like, hmm, okay, this might be something that I need to look out for later. And then, man, a few weeks later, I got another violation. And I, I didn't take it seriously. <laughs> I started trolling, right? Like, I started trolling, like, yo, I wasn't even doing nothing, blah, 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 which I wasn't. I, I actually, like, I had, like, shorts on, and I was sitting like this, and it's like, you see my bare knees, and I was, like, talking like this or something, and I was like, did I just get reported for that? Like, do they think, like, my knees were my boobs? Like, you know, so, like, me and my, I, I'm talking about this on my Snapchat, and then my fans are like, 
oh, you know, your your knees are too sexy. You got to put them things away. So, like, I troll even harder. So, I make another video, right? With my knees up like this. And then I put that, uh, I put, like, a censored sticker over. So, it's, like, censored and it looks... They deleted my shit. They locked me out and deleted my shit. And then from there, it was a freaking horror story. My Snapchat getting deleted was crazy.